Okay, so I give up. I've been literally looking for Chuck Quizmo for ages. I've checked literally all ten spots he can spawn in. He can spawn in Toad Town near Merlin's house. He can spawn in Goomba Village uh, to the left side of the screen. He can spawn in two different places in Koopa Village. One right next to Koopa Coot's house and one next to the radio house. He can spawn in two different places in Dry Dry Outpost. One near the entrance to it and one on the second screen, kind of close to the Toad House. He can spawn in Yoshi's Village uh, over in the Town Square area. He can spawn in Shiver City uh, near the Mayor's house and... Actually, I think it's only nine areas. And he can even spawn in Star Haven. I checked every spot. He is not there. So either there's another spot that I'm missing. Maybe Paper Mario Pro Mode added some new spots he can spawn in. And he's only spawning in those. Maybe we're somehow done with the quizzes. Maybe you have to unlock more quizzes. Maybe the game, the hack is glitched. I don't know. But I can't reach his quizzes right now. So I'm going to basically trade the few star pieces that I do have for more badges, and I'm going to see if I've missed any star pieces elsewhere, or see if Mer Lovely can actually lead me to Chuck Quizmo. If not, we're just going straight to the Bowser fight. All right. Oh, we can't even afford any. So there are nine star pieces left in the game. All right. Well, then. All right, Mer Lovely. Tell me where a star piece is. Whoa, twinkle light, twinkle bright! I see a star piece. As you go east from Boo's Village into Gusty Gulch, you will see a question mark block and a brick block near some rocks. Between the blocks, you see a dead end tree and two boulders. The pieces behind them. Oh, re really? I missed a piece in Gusty Gulch? Really? Well, I'll be getting that. Sure enough, there's a star piece back there. Wow, I can't believe I missed that. I was probably running for my life from hyperclefts at the time. Alright then. Alright guys, I had one final idea with regards to the Chuck Quizmo pieces. I was thinking, alright, so the last of the Chuck Quizmo quizzes were unavailable until the post-game. How would they ensure that that? They could have had an internal flag in the game to check to see if you had reached this part of the level, or maybe if you had opened this pipe before he respawns, but what if Chuck Quizmo actually is hiding somewhere in Peach's Castle? And I came to thinking, hey, there was the 64th Trivia Quiz Off. What if Chuck Quizmo was here, where the 64th qu Trivia Quiz Off was? It's a long shot, but I'm going to see if it's true. Alright, darn it. No luck. Chuck Quizmo was not there. I have no idea where he could be. Maybe he doesn't unlock until after you beat the final bonus Bowser fight. I don't know. Anyhow, at the very least, we can go back and see if Mer Lovely can tell us anything, or if we missed any other star pieces elsewhere. I feel like, because I've played the game so much, I feel like I would have gotten all the other star pieces, but hey, I missed a, a one in G Gusty Gulch that was relatively easy to find, so who knows? I see a star piece after arriving on Lava Lava Island. You make your way across a shady, a sandy beach, passing palm trees as you go. You smash a tree on the right side of the spinning flower, and a piece drops down. Okay. I can get that. Okay. There was a star piece there. I didn't think to hit that tree, because normally only coconuts fall from coconut trees. Forgot about that one. Alas, at the moment there are no star pieces within your re reach. Do not give up hope, though. There are some beyond my vision. Trust in your lucky star, and you'll find people who possess star pieces. I must give you a full refund for such a poor reading. Please return to me again. Okay. So the only ones left are probably the ones we get from Bowser, and then the Chuck Wismo ones. Alright, well, I can't find Chuck Wismo, so we're gonna get the HP Drain Badge from Merlo, and then take on Bowser in the next video. Sorry that this one was so short and disappointing. Oh, I'm sorry. Heart Finder. Alright, that Peekaboo Badge is forever out of my reach, but that's okay. I've already tattled on everything. Alright, folks. It's time for the end of Paper Mario Pro Mode. There's one fight left to go. It's the fight against... It's the rematch fight against Bowser. So, just to show my inventory, I have five Hustle Drinks and free Deluxe Feasts. Actually, I should have taken more stuff out of the shop. Well, that's fine. Whoops. It happens. Anyhow, we need to set up our badges. And I unequipped all my badges so we can start with a clean slate. So, I think D-Down Jump is going to be great for offensive power. 
that's kind of a must. Oh, there is, there's triple dip. Definitely quick change. That is a gotta have, for sure. We're also definitely going to equip our power pluses and our defend pluses and damage dodges. Neither the P up, D down, or P down, D up. I will equip all or nothing for the extra attack power. We have seven left. I'm going to equip Fio and Fine because I think Bowser can inflict you with status effects. Zap Tap I don't think is going to be worth it for four BP, and it only deals one damage per turn at most. Uh, Ice Power and Fire Shield I don't think are going to be useful either. I guess Fire Shield could be potentially against this Flame Breath attack. I guess we'll do Speedy Spin, yeah. I Spy even though there are no panels left. Also put on all of the attack FX badges just for... <laughs> for reasons. Anyhow. With 5 BP left, I think we'll... No, no, we don't need a Flower Saver. We only have D-Down Jump, but that's basically it. We could do Crazy Heart. At a faster rate. Is that just one per turn all the time? Or we could do two Happy Hearts. We have three Happy Hearts and a Crazy Heart. I think I'll do Crazy Heart, and then we can do... Actually, no, not Crazy Heart. We're going to live dangerously. And we're going to equip... Power Rush, Mega Rush, Last Stand. And Close Call. And then we have 1 BP left. Jump Charge. Actually, no, not Jump Charge. Smash Charge would be just stupid. I don't want to rely on luck for Close Call, so I'll unequip that. And I'll equip Happy Heart. This is our badge setup. Alrighty. It's time to face the final Bowser. I'm hoping for a really good, challenging fight. Not unfairly difficult, but still difficult. Hi, Hologram Peach. I'm so glad to see you're safe. Are you here to face Bowser in his strongest form? Yes, I am. I know you can do it, Mario. You've never let me down before. Okay. And he's invincible. Do we have Peach Beam? Or do we only have Star Beam? Giga Bowser! Now we're playing Smash Bros. Might as well try this. I'm not sure if it'll work or not. It made the dun sound effect, but it still worked. How happy. Alright, let's tattle on him. It's Bowser's ultimate form! His HP is massive and he can use any attack he wants! When he increases his power with the Star Rod, our attacks will be totally useless! When that happens, you need to use the Star Beam to disrupt his magic spell. Is that a custom tattle? Okay, that is a lot of damage. 200 HP. I love it. Alright, let's try to use all of our party members for this one. So... I think we'll start by giving uh, Mario a little Cloud Nine. Chances of being attacked will decrease. Wow, that deals a lot of damage. Man, Happy Heart is working a lot. Let's also give him a water block. Oh, thank goodness. I appreciate it. Let's use a hustle drink. We have five of them. Might as well make the most of it. All right. Ooh, and we'll also give him Turbo Charge as a result. Give Mario all the status buffs. Oh man. Well, now we can use Star Beam and attack him in the same turn. Look at all those status buffs. <laughs> it, with the Hustle Drink, will this actually remove my Cloud one turn early? We're about to find out. No, it doesn't.
Well, there goes Paracarry. Thank goodness Mario dodged it, though. This is a great fight. I'm excited for this. Wow, Water Block did a lot! Oh. Had to open my mouth. All right. Let's use Smooch. Get our HP back up. Oh, this is an exciting fight. I love it. And I'm so happy to get a kiss. Take that, Bowser. You know, Bombette, we haven't used you as much as I would have normally liked, so blow him up. Wow, that only does five damage. Why am I using anybody but Watt? Because I want all of my party members to shine. Okay, well, that's problematic. It's feast time. I want to use Cooper as well for his default shell toss. Will this deal any damage? Three. <laughs> Ouch, I am bad at action guarding that fire. We still haven't used Bow. Except I don't I think he's gonna make himself invincible next turn, so. Called it. Go away, Bowser's invincibility. I was hopefully expecting rematch Bowser to be able to make himself invincible and attack in the same turn. I'm kind of surprised that he can't. All right, let's turbocharge Mario again. Turbocharge with the uh, hustle drinks is actually kind of busted. And this is why we use Quick Change. Quick swapping to party members is ridiculously useful. Alright, double attack time. Hey, what happened to my turbo- Oh my gosh, Bowser undid my turbo charge with- Where- what happened to my hustle drink, too? What- did Out of Sight cancel my Hustle Drink? What the butts? That's so stupid. I know, I realize Bowser, when he makes the, like, light shockwave with his Star Rod, will take away all of your status enhancements. So that's what happened to my Turbo Charge. But that doesn't explain my Hustle Drink going away just for using Out of Sight. It's terrible. Alright, Lack of Lester, I need another Cloud Nine. I'm even max level, so it's like a fair fight, kind of. Thank you, Lackluster! My gosh, where would I be without you? Yeah, forget Mega Smash or Mega Jump. D-Down Jump is the way to deal the most damage. Water Block is a lot better in this, because Water Block gives you plus two defense instead of just plus one. It's awesome. All right. We're going to Hustle Drink, and then we're going to Turbo Charge, and hope Bowser doesn't make himself invincible or use his Shockwave attack. Okay, he did use the Shockwave attack, but it didn't do anything. Oh my gosh, yes! Cloud9 is so good against Bowser. Alright, there he goes. I was wondering when he was going to start healing himself. The effects of Cloud9 has worn off. Aww. I'm still happy, though. Well, if Cloud9 wore off, let's fix that.
I always knew Watt was amazing, but I forgot how good Lackluster and Sushi are in battle. And Lackluster's... Admittedly, oh my gosh, what the heck? Why is Cloud9 getting such good RNG? It's ridiculous. This is a great fight, though. You definitely have to be smart in this fight. Speaking of which, I think I'm going to chill out Bowser a bit. Chill out is actually pretty great to use against Bowser. Especially in vanilla game when it actually lowers the attack by kind of a lot. Oh, shoot. I should have used... Well, that was stupid of me. I should have attacked him with my turbo charge. Whoops. Yeah, because my attack power is back to normal now. Boo! I'm happy. There's the lightning attack. Wow. Cloud9 is literally has like a 100% hit rate. This should not happen. Well, we have just enough FP to use it again. Might as well. I thought... Okay, I thought before playing promo that Cloud9 only had, like, a 20% chance to activate. Oh, okay. Not, like, a basically a 100% chance. I am out of FP. But it's okay, I can munch a Deluxe Feast to bring it back up to basically full. Yeah, this looks like a perfect time to eat a feast. Alright, I think that's the last time he can heal. Unless they increase the amount in either pro mode or for the refight. Gumbario tattled on it at the beginning, and that's it. <laughs> Sorry, but Gumbario, Cooper, Bombette, Paracarry, can't, and Bo can't do a whole lot in this fight. Oh no! I didn't action guard that. Still happy, though. <laughs> Just keep buffing Mario. Make it so Bowser can't hurt us. <laughs> no, my status buffs! You'll pay for this, Bowser. I'm gonna hustle drink and then do turbo charge. Bowser's just had enough of my status buffing. He keeps doing that just so I can't do double D-down jump with Turbo Charge. That's okay, Bowser. I'm being a little on the cheap side. <laughs> He's like, I saw you infinitely stalling against those Medi guys. What a butt. <laughs> I mean, he, he has a point. Alright, Bowser. There we go, at last I action guarded that. Oh boy! I can finish him off on my next turn. I'm gonna give one more Cloud 9. <laughs> Just for the funsies. Ouch. It's okay, you're still dead, Bowser. 
Goodbye. Oh, that was fun, though. No star points, because I'm at max level. You never cease to amaze me, Mario! I have a special badge for you. Please take it. And please, Mario, hurry to the castle and save the Star Rod. Everyone is counting on you to defeat real Bowser, even though he's weaker. We get the right on badge? Makes the action command work every time Mario attacks. That's what I needed against the refight in the Lava Piranha. Of course, by the time you get this badge, you've proven that you don't really need it. Although, I have failed the action command several times. Does this also mean maximum, like, air raid? Takes 5 BP. I wonder if you equip that, does that always give you, like, the maximum, like, it would give you maximum Mega Shock all the time? If that's the case, that actually would be pretty darn good. Or is it literally just like, oh, well, you can always do the jump. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna try that out. And I'm also, I'm gonna try that out, and I'm also going to check to see if Chuck Quizmo is starting to appear somewhere. I don't think he is. I think it's either bugged or I'm just missing something, but... Because one thing, I've always hated Watt's Power Shock and Mega Shock abilities because they require un, un inhumanely fast mashing skills in order to actually, like, have a chance of working, especially Mega Shock. But with the right on badge, you actually might be able to bypass that a bit. All right, let's try it. Right on. All right. What are some other... Hmm. I'd also like to try it with combination with power bounce. Like, would it give you always the maximum power bounces? We must test this for science. Now, who to test it on? We need to find some enemies. All right. Let's see... Uh, so I have the right on badge equipped. I'm going to try Mega Shock and see if it actually gives me the perfect action command every time. Well, no, it doesn't. How about power bounce? Oh, wait, I don't have spike shield equipped. So I actually can't. We're gonna run away from these guys. <laughs> I killed the Koopa too quickly. I killed him with the first strike. Maybe it only works for Mario's attacks. All right, let's power bounce the Paragon. I'm not pressing anything. Sure enough, it's doing it for me. What about Paracarry's Air Raid? I'm not going to even touch the stick. Nope! Okay, so it only affects Mario's attacks. Well, the fact that that works with Power Bounce is kind of amazing. That does definitely make Power Bounce a little bit better. But it's definitely not worth 5 BP. Anyhow... Gonna check for Chuck Quizmo and see if I can find him. Otherwise, we're calling that a full playthrough of Paper Mario Pro Mode, and I'm saying I got 100% because I got as much percent as I possibly could. If he's not in Koopa Village, then I don't know where he would be. Nope, I had no luck finding Chuck Quizmo, so I'm gonna call that 100%. I've gotten everything I possibly could have. I guess if somebody in the comments knows how to make Chuck Quizmo appear in the post game, please let me know, and maybe I'll make another really short bonus video for that. But, anyhow, I'm going to say that was Paper Mario Pro Mode. Literally everything that I could do. Wow, that was an amazing hack. Really, really well done. I love pretty much every change made to the game. The only changes that they made that I didn't like, really, were the fact that they nerfed Bombette and, like, basically all screen-clearing weapons to ridiculous proportions. The fact that they nerfed Bombette so substantially as well was really annoying. Personally, I would have said if you wanted to nerf Bombette, just make her Power Bomb and Mega Bomb cost a little more FP, like by, by one maybe, and that's it. But they also, not only did they do that, they also just had to nerf her damage output so, to the point that she just didn't really deal any more damage than Cooper, and she took like more than double the FP that Cooper did. So, shoot, that was annoying. Paracarry's by far his best move was also nerfed heavily. It really just felt like they made what. And, and I get that they nerfed Power Bounce. They should have made it cost 4 FP to equip, not 2, like they did, but then not make it so that it 
won't do damage beyond, like, one. They should have made it so that it always deals one damage, provided the first one at least deals one damage. That was really annoying. I, I kind of like that they capped the number of charges you could do to three. I think that was a good change that they made. Made charge a little less broken. And yeah, I, I love all the post-game content that they added. I like the fact that it was a much bigger challenge, but still very fair. I know there is a harder version of this called Paper Mario Master Quest. I'm not sure if I would ever play that. One thing I might try to do in the future, either casually on stream or maybe I would record it and then upload highlights, would be doing the Paper Mario Pro Mode Challenge, but doing the Luigi Challenge where you don't level up, but you can equip badges for free. I feel like that would actually be really fun and add a huge level of strategy to it, which I would really like. But I'm not going to do that for a while if I do do that, so... Thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you had a great time watching this series. I had a great time playing it. My um, uh, shout-outs to all the people who made this hack. It's a very, very well-done hack, and I would highly recommend it to people who are looking for a little bit more of a challenge in Paper Mario. It's very fun to play for this. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and God bless.